We're here in the shop in the Armorage Outdoors channel, and while I haven't forged out any knives this year, I've had plenty of other stuff I've been busy with. So this is June, and it is the first forged knife I'm going to do. I'm pretty excited. I haven't been on the forge too much this year. We're going to go with a sack shape, and there's a lot of different saxes out there. I'm going with the traditional broken back. Some key elements I'm going to be looking for, namely that the hump is the widest point, and then it tapers from there on both ends, and then the edge, we're going to go for a continuous curve. There's no straight edges on this blade. We're looking at, I'm going to shoot for roughly an 8 inch blade. Historically these tangs were very long, had long handles, so I'm probably going to go with a 7 inch handle or so. Haven't exactly decided um, what handle shape I'm going to go with yet, but I do know that it will be a hidden tang. So I'm going to fire up the forge, grab some leaf spring steel, and we're going to get started. This is actually working out pretty good using the forge, making a forge stand out of my anvil. It's a little high in the flames, so it's probably not the hottest section, but sure beats holding it. The so first thing we're going to do is define the tip. I'm just going to drive it back into itself here. So I got my tip drawn out, now I'm going to do essentially the same thing, but on a longer taper drawn towards the handle. Oh boy, I can feel the blisters already. So I'm starting to get the rough shape of the blade here. See the widest point is at the hump, it tapers towards the tip. From here it tapers down towards the tang. The issue I'm running into now is I can't keep tapering down towards the tang because this is as much as I can fit into my forge. I originally was planning to hot cut into the forge or just forge out the tang all the way through. Uh, the problem I'm running into now is I can't get heat back here to do that. So my option now is to come in with the angle grinder and just make a slant cut right here. And then I can continue forging in the tang and then I'll come in, clean this section up a little bit more. This is going to taper down a bit more here, and then I've got to forge in my bevels.
Next step is to forge in the bevels. I'm trying to get this area skinnier here, but I'm just running out of room in my forge. Can't get heat to where I want it to. But remember, this is only going to be an 8 inch blade. So, right here is where I'm going to start grinding in some bedrock, grinding, forging in some bevels. Now, I don't want a full flat ground, even though traditionally I think they were more of a full flat grind. I'm going to go with like a high saber or high flat grind. So I'm only going to do a very light bevel forging here. The rest I'll grind out. Got a good bevel in, now I'm just going to try and straighten it out and throw out the knife. 